what's going on people and welcome back today i'm going to show you how to set up a auto hotkey to control pro tools so you can just press a button on your elgato stream deck and it will well in this particular video i'm going to show you how to reverse audio but you can do anything with this script i'm about to show you um, from reversing audio tape stops clip games whatever you want um this is kind of going to give you the template to be able to set up what to, to, to be able to set up a script to do a number of different things in Pro Tools. Now, as you can see here, I've got my Stream Deck here. I've got a bunch of different things that I like to use. And we've got a blank space here that we're gonna set up a reverse um, audio suite. So basically we wanna set up an auto hotkey or a script that clicks on audio suite, other, um, where's reverse, reverse, and then hits that render button and flips the audio and then closes the window again. So I'm not gonna lie to you, it's gonna be a little bit intricate and a little bit technical, but bear with me, I'm gonna try and be as concise as possible. Um, the first thing you're gonna need are auto hotkey and this advanced launcher. Um, I'll leave links in the description below, but it's very important that you download version one. I've not got this to work with version two yet, um, but when I do, I promise I'll update you, update this video. So make sure you download version one, which is like an older version of Auto Hotkey and this advanced launcher um, on the Elgato um, website. Again, I will leave all of the links in the descriptions below. If I forget, please remind me, please leave me a comment and I'll sort that out for you. Um, once you've got that sorted, um, you don't then go into this. This is kind of all of your applications in the Stream Deck. And we're going to look for our advanced launcher that we just downloaded. Here it is. We're just going to drag that into our empty space. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to name this reverse because this is what that's, that's what it's going to do. And in this application box here, we need to add the launcher so that auto hotkey launches. And I found this really good script um, from Walden's Automation. Um, again, I will leave the link in the description below. And basically this this script is gonna open auto hotkey. So it's open in the background. And this is very important. It's, this whole process is not gonna work without this. So um, let's first create a new folder. So I'm gonna create it on my desktop so it's nice and easy to find. And we're gonna call it audio hotkeys, right? AHK. And we're gonna create an auto hotkey script. And we're gonna call it launcher. All right, edit. Oh, there you go, it's opened on my other window. So we're just gonna copy this script here, provided by, let me get his name right, Walden's Automation. And we're just gonna copy that into this WordPad. Cool. And then click save. So there it is. And you can see there's a little or hotkey symbol there. That wouldn't work if, if you tried to do that on Notepad without having auto hotkey installed, it, it wouldn't do anything. Um, so now we're gonna application, we're gonna choose file. There it is. And it's in our desktop in the folder we just created. Launcher, open. Cool. So now when we press that button on our on our stream deck, it's gonna get auto hotkey running, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Um, we first, well not first, but we're next we're gonna, in this arguments box, we're gonna need two more scripts, right? So again, new auto hotkey script, and we'll call it reverse. Create, and another one called run underscore reverse now i don't remember exactly why this particular program needs you to do this but in this 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 run edit script in this run reverse notepad we're literally going to tell it to run reverse so we just do run reverse dot a h a h a h k <laughs> I can get my I can get my words out. So that means that it's gonna run this audio hotkey. And I believe it has to be in the same folder. So once we press the button, 
the stream deck is going to launch this which is then going to launch this i don't remember why you need to do that but it won't work without it so you know you need to do that now let's get to the fun part we've got uh, we've got we've got the setup out of the way let's get to the to the fun part now um i am gonna do a bit of a copy and paste job just to make sure that this video doesn't take forever um so i'm gonna get up my script from before cool so first thing we, we need to do is we need to tell our stream deck our, our hotkey it needs to make sure that it's the pro tools window is open and we want it to click audio suite right so our script is going to be this window select item ahk underscore class digi app wnd class comma comma audio suite comma other comma reverse so that's telling the the hotkey to select pro tools um this is pro tools um it should be the same in yours but if you if it doesn't work for whatever reason you're gonna have to download this windows spy oh there it is you're gonna have to download this windows spy program and if you just hover over pro tools can you see the top box there it says ahk class digi app blah 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 if it says anything different when you do it you have to copy that the way that i've i've written it here you just have to replace that with whatever it says in your one but it should be the same theoretically um audio suite other reverse okay so let's save that and let's see what happens now when we press our hotkey on our uh, on our stream deck nothing <laughs> that's because i've not um told the stream deck that it needs to launch the uh launcher the the run the run script right my bad my bad so we want sorry i'm trying to do this as quick as possible so you don't get bored so we want it to basically look for this run reverse okay so we're going to copy the directory also it needs to be in quotation marks in speech marks um audio hotkey then we need to do a backsplash backs backslash uh run underscore reverse dot ahk okay now that should work boom so i press the button and the reverse window comes up right let's make sure we've got audio selected and the, the the reverse window comes up really quick even so far we've gotten our process down significantly because normally you'd have to click audio suite blah 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 now we can just press the button and it comes up um but we want to go a bit further we want to make sure that it renders the audio closes the box and puts our mouse back to where it was cool so the next thing that we want to do the next line of code i guess is this again i'm copying and pasting just to make things quicker so we want it to sleep for 200 milliseconds and that's just so it doesn't try to run all of the code at the same time and it just kind of gets confused and you'll get an error so this this next bit of code here this next bit of script is um basically we're telling the or the the hotkey to find our mouse position right and then we want it to then once it's found the mouse position we want it to find the render button and the way that we do that is we're going to need um so if we bring this back up we're going to need to take a screenshot of that render button now it has to be really precise i use this snipping tool on windows and you can kind of if you go to new you can kind of just draw a box around it but it's not going to work like you it's going to take you a couple of tries right so i'm going to just find the one that i made earlier i don't know if you ever watched art attack growing up um but i'm going to find the image that i used earlier which is this that worked for me that that particular th th that particular shape and i'm going to put it into my so i'm doing this off screen so i don't dox myself um, I'm going to put it into the same folder with everything else, right? And I'll rename it render button. 
I'll, I'll just rent. Uh, oops, it just happened there. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just name it render. Um, cool. So then we need to add the script to, to basically look for that image, which is here. Cool. So just copy that. Basically, that's going to um, wait. So after this has happened, it's going to wait a maximum of five, maximum of five seconds and wait for that render button to appear. So it's searching now. It's searching for, let's change that because it's not called render newest. It's called just render.png. Um, it's, it's searching for that. If it takes more than five seconds and it doesn't find that, then we want it to give us a... We wanted to give a, give us a error message. Could not find render button. Now, if it does find it, we want it to click it, right? Copy that. Else click. So if it doesn't find it, it's going to give us an error message saying could not find render button. If it does find it, it's going to click it. Okay, so let's give it a go. Of course, <laughs> you always have to press save on the notepad, okay? Otherwise, it won't update the code. So you have to press save or control S. Oops, wrong button. There you go. So it looked for the render button. You see the mouse move and it clicked it. And now my audio is flipped. It's reversed. But we want to go a step further now. We want the, the box to close. And we don't, as well, if you noticed... Um, my mouse moved and it stayed in that position. Now that can be disorientating. If, you're, if your mouse is down here and you're doing something and then it flips over there, it can be a little bit disorientating. So um, what we're going to do as well is we want the mouse to move back to where it was when I was last using it. So uh, let's get back up our script. Um, copy paste so it's clicking so if you can see here we're setting the image x image y to render.png so it's going to click image x image y then it's going to move the mouse to the previous location so we added this code up here which gets the mouse location and then here it puts it back to that location it's then going to sleep for 500 milliseconds and then it's going to close our window, right? So let's click save. Let's give it a try. Bosh. Look at that. So it clicked it and then it moved our mouse back there. And you can try and get that number down so it's even quicker. So you see all the wait times. You can try and make that a bit lower. But as I said, sometimes if it's too low, um, the, it, it just doesn't work. Everything tries to run at the same time and things go out of order and it, you know, it just doesn't work. So that's kind of how you do it to, to, to do that. Um, then we can just like an, add an image there. Um, can't remember exactly how you add images, but you can add an image. So you can use, like I've done here. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to do anything else, so for example, uh, audio suite. So we wanted to do audio suite and then bring up, I like to use the tape stop. We can do the same, but it, but it has to be word for word what it says in a drop down menu. So if you see here, uh, pitch shift verify. So instead of saying other, like in my script, I have it to say other and then reverse, you want it to say pitch shift verify but it has to be spelt correctly all of the, the capital letters need to be in the exact same places um the hyphens and everything else otherwise it just won't work okay now i'd like to say that's easy but it took me the best part of a day to figure out how to get this code working um i'm not even exaggerating it took me ages i've got no background in programming or coding or anything like that um but i enjoyed it i i weirdly found it um fun 
and um, I'm glad I can share it with you. And if I can find a way, like this guy's done, um, what's his name? Warden's Automation to just add the the script there in his description. Um, GitLab. I'll try and see if I can add the script um, just so you can copy and paste it. But if not, you're just gonna have to copy copy it line for line. But I think I've I've made it pretty pretty straightforward i hope i hope this video doesn't get too confusing but i did get a lot of questions on how to make it work and i was surprised so many people were so interested really when i put that video out about my stream deck i wasn't expecting people to actually uh, want to do the same i just thought it was kind of cool um so elgato if you want to send me some free stuff for promoting your your brand to producers mate you can hit me up on instagram and if you're new around here please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already it really does help me out it helps the channel and it costs you nothing uh, thank you for supporting and watching my videos as always and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace